How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Super Carmio where we'll be jumping right back into the Miata turbo build. Today we'll be adding some fittings to our intercooler plumbing. We'll be adding bungs for the IAT sensor, wastegate signal line, blow off valve, as well as the idle speed valve. Let's jump into this. So here's the basic welding setup I'm running. It's an Eastwood 175, which utilizes a 220 volt outlet. And then I have this spool gun attachment um, and 100% argon gas uh, for the shielding. Um, I have welded all the aluminum in the RX-7 FD. Um, it is tricky because it does heat up very quickly, so you have to be fast and you pretty much have to nail the settings um, on the welder. So I will be testing out a few pieces of some of the spare piping that I have and work from there. I think we're getting closer, as you can see there's finally a little bit of a bead. Um, just need to up the wire speed from what I could tell. Um, I think the power is right where it needs to be. So I think we'll start with this pipe right here since we have plenty of straight pipe available. So here's the first pass after doing the top part of the bung. As you can see there's a little soot but that will come off. Um, got a nice little bead there. It should be pretty sturdy and boost proof. So I'm just gonna let this cool down because with aluminum it heats up super quick. So if you try to weld it again, it's gonna throw off all of your settings um, just because you have to take heat into account here. And here's the bead on the opposite side. It's a little bulky, but it should hold just fine. Um, obviously not the prettiest, but it is pretty stressful to weld aluminum just because it's a uh, so finicky and there's the finished product um, it's not going to be like a stack of dimes like you'd see on a TIG weld it's not very pretty um, but it should hold boost fine now we'll move on to add in other bungs and there's the first weld for this blow off valve barb as you can see that one came out pretty nice all right this blow off valve barb is done we just have one more to do, and we'll be golden. And here's the last bung we'll be adding. This is just another 3 8 NPT. It will be, again, a barb fitting to plumb to the wastegate boost signal line. And here we have our last bung in place. This pipe is now good to go. We're just gonna cut it to length. And here we have the completed pipe. Once again, not the prettiest. We're going for function over form here. And I'll probably end up powder coating these wrinkled black anyways to cover some of the ugly welds. But this is gonna go right here. We have our blow off valve, that'll go here. Idle speed, and then our wastegate signal. All right, up next we're gonna do the IAT sensor. So we're gonna put the bung right here, try to get it a little bit before it hits the engine bay, facing left so we can route the wire in. All right, there's the hole, and here's the bunk. Let's do this. All right, and here's the pipe reinstalled with the IAT sensor plumbed in. So this pipe is good to go. I think it's a good time now to start clamping everything down except for this side, um, we're going to basically put a boost leak tester over here uh, and make sure everything is good to go. Of course we keep on going, though everybody know it. The truth about our way we tied it loosens up, I'm sorry. Be cool, go on and fake it. We still know we will break it. We make the same mistakes we always made and now let's face it. The 
truth about our way we tied it loose and up I'm sorry we could go on and fake it we still know we will break it we make the same mistakes we always made and now let's face it All right, so we have all of our clamps on and tightened. Everything that we want to test is all tightened and we're leaving this off so we can hook up the boost leak tester. But first we're just gonna thread in our wastegate signal fitting right here as well as our blow off valve right here. All right guys, well our hardware is all set. We have all of our fit-ins in place. Everything has been boost leak tested. So we're good to start this thing up after we do some initial tune-in, which will come in the next video. Also, if we have time, we'll take it to dyno and see what this thing is putting down. Thanks for being a part of this build series thus far. I hope you guys are enjoying the content. If so, press that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. I'll catch all of you in the next one. Peace out.